I collect everything. So uh, in today's history lesson, we're looking at the old design documents from 1942. Uh, so I have two collections here. This is design documents, and here we have the concepts. So to be honest, it's interesting since too often you don't really have time to go back and look at what you've done. Uh, all the games we do build on the experience of the previous ones. Uh, so Battlefield 3 will kind of be built on everything the studio known, uh, especially since Bat DICE have done them all. Uh, but going back is interesting to look at things that didn't make it into the game. So looking at this design document here, we can see that... Uh, which, which level could this be? Well, it's Gasala Line. If you all remember Gasala, at this time uh, when we're making this one, back in the year of 2000, this document is from, we had a tiling world. So we were trying to find out how can we build uh, huge environments where you can fly around and still have good infantry battle. So at that point we had tiling worlds. So more or less, if you stood up on the island and had a good sniper rifle, you could shoot yourself in the back of the head. So in the end, <laughs> we scrapped it. It didn't really work out. Uh, same thing with, I saw, Omaha here, uh, tiling beaches, just to give that feeling of this enormous war. At some point we were aiming for 128 players. But it's interesting to see, since this is kind of where we came from, and we still build up on these ideas. And after making the game, we, we kind of we, we took these 10 commandments uh, that still stay strong for, for Battlefield with. It makes it what it is today. Uh, rock, paper, scissor, all out war. Looking at concepts, it's interesting to see that, I mean, I got in on a, or hired, making a polygon, low poly plane that looked horrible, uh, if you look at it today, but during those days it was good enough, and uh, I mean, these ones were definitely good enough, but if you look at how much time and energy we put at a concept today, it's, it's amazing. So here we can see concepts of our soldiers uh, for Battlefield 1942. We were to have a special pilot class, but cut away as well. Here's an interesting one. It's the, the script for the intro movie. Probably the first brief about it or discussion around it. As I mentioned, it's uh, home at the lead designer's place, drinking wine and eating uh, <laughs> goose liver <laughs> to get the Corsican vibe. Uh, and still a lot of the things that you kind of remember from from 1942, the factories, from the beginning, all the vehicles were actually to spawn indoors. We hated the fact that you could see a vehicle spawn. Mm -hmm. So this one was to spawn the tanks inside, open the doors, and tanks were to roll out. Uh, we even built on uh, Guadalcanal uh, kind of a shipyard with docks. So the enormous house out came a destroyer, and uh, kind of lids open up, and there you had the submarine. In the end, the size of that was almost bigger than the island, so we realized that, no, <laughs> it doesn't look good. Let's spawn them in there. So I must ask you, what's your favorite Battlefield map 3D? Uh, Karkin is one of my favorite. Monte Casino. I like the, oh. the way that oh, you yeah. could sneak around the back. Kinda... <laughs> you're one of those. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's tough to, if you're playing a team with good defense on the top of yeah. the hill, it's tough to go up. Sharky Peninsula was that yeah. the, was that the one with the TV station? Yeah, TV station. Yeah, uh, the big crane great. for the the yeah. newbie snipers. Yeah, I, I like that one. There's a lot of the Battlefield Two maps that I uh, Dragon Valley, uh, Gulf of Oman. Even though I played it to death, uh, I still love coming back there. So it's the beauty of games is, according to me, when when you get it right, you can miss being in that world. I have that with games. Uh, I played games recently, and I can miss being in that world. Uh, and it's definitely the same thing with Battlefield and, and the Battlefield levels. That yeah. it's kind of it's like coming home. I know this. It's my backyard. And given the success uh, 1943 had, I mean, you guys realize you could probably create a whole division just to remake all the pe most popular maps. Yeah, it's uh, it's since that's kind of you don't know how much your audience have moved on and kind of. We want contemporary or we want something else, but uh, it was a huge credit to the good old 1942 that people just embraced 1943.
There's something to be said for a good multiplayer. I mean, people still play Dusk, you know, the Counter-Strikers are still playing Counter-Strike, but it's a different kind of community than I feel like a lot of the mainstream people, you know. Yeah. Like, if you find something good, they're not they're not worried about repetition. They'll keep playing it. Yeah. So. And I think it is repetition, but it's repetition with room for yeah. stale uh, outmaneuvering. Yeah. It, it doesn't get stale, uh, and that's the big, key thing to me. You love some maps from the start, but it's like a, a, hit, hit, a hit song. You love it, and after a couple of hours, you're sick and tired of it, and you want to hear it again. Yeah. Uh, and the same thing with some maps that, oh, looks beautiful, plays cool, but wait, I played it a couple of times now, and yeah, but I still love coming back to Wake Island. Wake yeah. Island is actually the map, when I played in 1943 or anywhere, that reminds me of the greatness of Battlefield. It's kind of ships out there, it's planes up there, it's... I'm still amazed that we managed to accomplish it. Uh, and and I mean, the boomerang design. Of yeah. That, I mean, it's, yeah. it was great for back and forth battles. You know? Yeah, it just works. Yeah. A lot of sweet memories. 